Elamite cuneiform was a logo-syllabic script used to write the Elamite language. The complete corpus of Elamite cuneiform consists of c. 20,000 tablets and fragments. The majority belong to the Achaemenid era, and contain primarily economic records. History and decipherment the Elamite language c. 3000 BCE to 400 BCE is the now extinct language spoken by Elamites, who inhabited the regions of Khuzestan and Fars in southern Iran. It has long been an enigma for scholars due to the scarcity of resources for its research and the irregularities found in the language. It seems to have no relation to its neighboring Semitic and Indo-European languages. Scholars fiercely argue over several hypotheses about its origin, but have no definite theory. Elamite cuneiform comes in two variants, the first, derived from Akkadian, was used during the 3rd to 2nd millennia BCE, and a simplified form used during the 1st millennium BCE. The main difference between the two variants is the reduction of glyphs used in the simplified version. At any one time, there would only be around 130 cuneiform signs in use. Throughout the script's history, only 206 different signs were used in total. The earliest known Elamite cuneiform text is a treaty between Akkadians and the Elamites that dates back to 2200 BCE. However, some believe it might have been in use since 2500 BCE. The tablets are poorly preserved, so only limited parts can be read, but it is understood that the text is a treaty between the Akkad king Naramzan and Elamite ruler Hida. Frequent references like Naramsan's friend is my friend, Naramsan's enemy is my enemy. Indicate so, the most famous and the ones that ultimately lead to its decipherment are the Elamite scriptures found in the trilingual inscriptions of monuments commissioned by the Achaemenid Persian kings. The inscriptions, similar to that of the Rosetta Stone's, were written in three different writing systems. The first was Old Persian, which was deciphered in 1802 by Georg Friedrich Grotefend. The second, Babylonian cuneiform, was deciphered shortly after the Old Persian text. Because Elamite is unlike its neighboring Semitic languages, the script's decipherment was delayed until the 1840s. Even today, lack of sources and comparative materials hinder further research of Elamite. <inaudible> Inventory Elamite radically reduced the number of cuneiform glyphs. From the entire history of the script, only 206 glyphs are used. At any one time, the number was fairly constant at about 130. In the earliest tablets, the script is almost entirely syllabic, with almost all common Old Akkadian syllabic glyphs with CV and VC values being adopted. Over time, the number of syllabic glyphs is reduced while the number of logograms increases. About 40 CVC glyphs are also occasionally used, but they appear to have been used for the consonants and ignored the vocalic value. Several determinatives are also used. Glyphs in parentheses in the table are not common. The script distinguished the four vowels of Akkadian and 15 consonants, p, b, k, per gram, t, d, s, s, z, y, l, per meter, n, r, and h. The Akkadian voiced pairs, p, b, k, g, and t, d, may not have been distinct in Elamite. The series transcribed z may have been an affricate such as c, or c, ts, per hectovolt, was not always distinguished from simple vowels, suggesting that h may have been dropping out of the language. The VC glyphs are often used for a syllable coda without any regard to the value of V, suggesting that they were in fact alphabetic C signs. Much of the conflation of CE and C, and also EC and IC, is inherited from Akkadian Pei Pi Bai, K Ki, G E G, Se C, Z Z, Lili, Ri Ri, and He Hi, that is, only Ne Ni are distinguished in Akkadian but not Elamite, of the VC syllables, only S is us. In addition, as a, a, e, a in Akkadian, and so effectively as a coda consonant even there. Topic syntax Topic Elamite cuneiform is similar to that of Akkadian cuneiform except for a few unusual features. For example, the primary function of CVC glyphs was to indicate the two consonants rather than the syllable. Thus certain words used the glyphs for tir and tar interchangeably and the vowel was ignored. Occasionally, the vowel is acknowledged such that tir will be used in the context trv. 
Thus, T -ra might be written with the glyphs for T -I -R and A or T and Ra. Elamite cuneiform allows for a lot of freedom when constructing syllables. For example, CVC syllables are sometimes represented by using a CV and VC glyph. The vowel in the second glyph is irrelevant so sa -ad and sa -ud are equivalent. Additionally, VCV syllables are represented by combining V and CV glyphs or VC and CV glyphs that have a common consonant. Thus, ap -pa and a -pa are equivalent. Topic C Alsa Topic Proto Elamite Linear Elamite Topic Notes Topic Topic References Topic Reiner, Erica, 2005. Elamite International Encyclopedia of Linguistics. Ed. William J. Frawley. Oxford University Press. Oxford Reference Online, accessed 5 November 2008 Kachikjan, Margaret, 1998. The Elamite Language. Documenta Asiana IV, Consiglio Nazionale della Ricerche Istituto per Gli Studi Meisne ed Agio Anatolici. ISBN 88-87345-01-5 Peter T. Daniels and William Bright, 1996. The World's Writing Systems. Published by Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-507993-0 George S. Starostin. On the Genetic Affiliation of the Elamite Language. Originally in, Mother Tongue, v. 7, 2002, pp. 147-170.